The battle space has multiple levels, including the space, near space, internet, and maneuver. Most applicable to the swarm is the maneuver level that includes land and marine-based nodes, as well as low-flying, rotary, and fixed-wing aircraft. Swarming is an ancient military tactic based on the congregating behavior of certain kinds of animals. The swarm is characterized by the fast convergence of dispersed nodes onto a TI. The exact moment they converge is referred to as a pulse. After the pulse, the nodes disperse and wait for the next signal. The swarm is a compound attack because during the pulse, you can be attacked with other instruments of war that include acoustics, NLP, fear potentiated startles, and psyop. If the nodes make contact with you, then there's the potential for physical injury. A node can be an individual citizen, that is a warfighter, a group of citizens, a vehicle, boat, or aircraft. Because the multinational force has extensive use of a host nation's resources, Every conceivable kind of vehicle can be used for a swarm. Some of the ones I've noticed include civil service vehicles such as police cars, ambulances, and fire engines, city vehicles, heavy equipment construction vehicles, metropolitan buses, small motorized carts such as ones you'd see in park settings, civilian vehicles, commercial vehicles of all types, postal vehicles including UPS, FedEx, and US Mail, taxis, helicopters and small propeller planes, boats, citizen warfighters on foot, bikes, and skateboards. Crowding is a standard tactic used by a multinational force. Although it varies in some localities, most of us need about two to four feet of distance between ourselves and strangers. Anything closer than that is considered personal space. Most of us are entirely aware of this, and under normal circumstances, we're considerate enough not to invade another person's personal space. Crowding naturally occurs in some places at different intensities, depending on the time and place. However, the citizens who persecute you for the system go out of their way to invade your personal space. These people do not demonstrate the common courtesy of keeping their distance. Space invasion is obviously a standard part of their training. And that's probably because crowding is known to cause mental and physical health problems. Crowding can induce chronic elevations and blood pressure, leading to biological disease. It can compromise the immune system. Importantly, crowding is known to cause defensive reactions in the targeted individual, including verbal outbursts and acts of violence. So the FPS and crowding can cause people to act violently. Speaking of the FPS, 
Some environments are optimal for such attacks. For instance, you may see people running across the street toward you to avoid a vehicle. Joggers from all directions approaches, approaching inches from you. People in transit areas running at you to catch a train or bus. These things happen once in a while. Yet, those environments are often used to conceal an FPS attack. In reality, people demonstrating that behavior may be brain-linked nodes directed by the gig to run at you for the purpose of causing a stress response. Not all swarming includes crowding. I've noticed there's an inner and outer sphere to the swarm. With the inner sphere, you have crowding and other non-lethals previously described. The outer sphere also exhibits activity, such as PSYOP, NLP, acoustics. Sometimes you can see distal nodes converging that will be synchronized to pulse on you at a specific point. Low-flying, fixed-wing and rotary aircraft occupy the upper maneuver level of the battle space. They're used for show of force operations and support of land and marine-based nodes. The pilots are allegedly told that they're conducting training operations when they fly their aircraft at a low altitude over your location. If your position is fixed, they may hover over you or just off to the sides. If you are mobile, they may appear above areas you travel through or follow you along your route. These aerial nodes add force to the campaign by demonstrating flagrant resolve. The idea that the conflict extends to the sky is obviously intended to shock the TI. If the aircraft is low enough, then there's an acoustic attack. So aerial nodes are used for a psychological and acoustic strike. 